huge developments go in Haiti, man. There's some huge developments in the in Haiti in the Haitian situation, man. I'm here to help you guys get a firm grip on the situation going on in Haiti. I'm going to help you get a firm grip on that tonight, man. Yeah, I'm going to keep y'all abreast of the situation, man, down there in Haiti, man. Let me keep, let me make sure y'all keep abreast of this situation going on in Haiti, man. Um, Be a nation. ABC's Melissa Adon has details. Has pledged another $130 million in security forces and humanitarian aid for Haiti. Armed groups have been threatening to overthrow the prime minister for weeks now, prompting the U.S. to evacuate American personnel from the Caribbean nation. ABC's Melissa Adon has details. Fuck the Melissa Adon. Fuck up, Melissa Adon. You give us the update. I want you to give us the update. Yeah, man, we got to get our, it's, it's a very complex situation down there in Haiti, man. We got to get our, we got to get our, our arms around, <laughs> we got to get our hands around what's going on down there, man. Try to get a, get a grasp of what's happening down there, man, in Haiti, man. Big things going on in Haiti, man, big things, man. Huge developments. Yeah, man, we got help them, man. <laughs> Fuck Gaza, man. We need to help Haiti, man. <laughs> Fuck Gaza, man. Yeah, we need to send a lot of jugs of milk down there. We need to send a lot of jugs of milk for the kids down there, man. Those kids, those kids are suffering, man. Send some jugs of milk down there. Yeah, we back. We back. Now, today, we're going to be talking about the recent agreement that took place between the Kenyan government and the de facto Haitian government who is currently led by a prime minister who was not democratically elected by the people who has been in office for going on three years now. But like I said, when you serve the interests of the West, nobody has a problem with de facto rulers who come to power by decree or maintain their power through dictatorship. But that's neither here nor there. In this video, which is going to be pay-per-view, I'm going to be talking about the reason why Kenya was chosen to lead this multinational security mission, as they call it, I'm going to be talking about how the $200 million that the United States said they're going to put up to finance the mission is actually not a lot of money, man. In fact, $200 million is only a fraction of the revenue generated for the United States government from having access to the Haitian market. I'm also going to be talking about some of the Arab and Jewish businessmen that are currently the source behind the so-called gang violence inside the country. And the reason I'm going to put this video behind pay-per-view is because... This video could easily be misconstrued as me trying to attack the Jewish community, which is not the case, man. Just because I'm talking about a few Jewish families in Haiti doesn't mean I'm attacking the entire Jewish population, man. But I don't even want to take those chances. So, man, it is what it is, man. I'm going to leave this video behind pay-per-view and go into the description of the video if you want to find out how to gain access to this information. Now, anyways, man, like I said, I'm going to play a short clip from the video. A short snippet and if you want the full video go into the description follow the directions and i'm gonna send you the personal link to the video and you can watch it and you can enjoy man anyways man it's a wouldn't have a car that's elaine back in the building yes indeed and i'm gone peace because the united states intends to provide 200 million dollars for the multinational security mission uh like i told you nations are not in the business of doing charity nations are in the business of protecting the economic interests and 200 million dollars is not a lot of money considering the united states generates 200 million dollars in revenue simply from selling rice to haiti every single year many of them have been sanctioned by the canadian government still in 2024 the u.s government has not taken any action against any of these men at all mainly due to the fact that 
they are currently and they've been in bed with these men for decades at this point. So, uh, to be honest. and to highlight this example, I did a video sometime last week entitled These are the richest men in Haiti, man. These are the richest men in Haiti. Press one if you're shocked, man. Press one if you're surprised by this, that these are the richest men in Haiti, man. Yeah, man. This is the ruling. These are the these are the these are the power brokers in Haiti. Something wrong with his man. Something wrong with his man. Ain't it? Ain't something wrong with his mind? <laughs> Even in Haiti? Even in Haiti? Yo, something gotta be wrong with his mind. <sighs> Something wrong with his mind, man. Everybody hit the like button, man. It takes 200 likes to get the show started, man. Everybody hit the like button, man. Support the channel, man. We got a great show planned for y'all tonight, man. Some wrong with mine, man. If this the richest people in, in Haiti, man, something wrong with his mind. Gilbert Biggio. Renal, Reginald Bulos. Sharif Abdallah. Fritz Mez. Renal Deeb. 
Carl Braun, Charles H. Baker, Gregory Bent, Brent, Andy Apade, Mark A. Akra, Frank Helmack, Richard Coles. Something is wrong with his mind. Okay? Something is wrong with his mind. Okay. Something is seriously wrong with his mind. Right? Here. And I'm not going to be much longer with y'all. I understand we need to move beyond color. I'm not, I'm not about that, but y'all raised it. If you start it, I'll end it for you. Don't start nothing. It won't be nothing. But we got a problem. Black people got a problem. Now we can move to color blindness and always look at the man by the content of his character, never the color of his skin. I'm down for that. You get my vote. Yay and amen, I'm for that. But before we get there, we need to hear some truth. Black people and white folk, black people got a problem. And it's a God problem. When black people see the world, I don't care. You can train them. You can train a black man to be a physician. You can train him to be an astrophysicist. You can train him to be a lawyer. But you can't train him to understand the world. He doesn't know. I'm telling you. There's not two cents worth of difference between a mass murderer. There's not two cents of difference between a petty thief that's locked away in prison than a black doctor when it comes to understanding the world. Listen, listen you listen to me. We got to deal with this. And we need to begin to acknowledge it, talk about it, ask God to help us because only God can help black people where they are. Black people had Africa, that big old continent over there. They never built one boat that was seaworthy. Not one. There's not one monument in Africa, in all of Africa. I know you're talking about Egypt. I'm, Egypt is not Africa. There are no great cities that were built. Even before the first colonization of white people. Coming to the shores of Africa or the slave ships, black men built nothing, no sewer system, no houses above one level, and none of them made out of stone. All of them made out of grass and wood. Black men, before the white man ever got to Africa, the worst thing that could ever happen to South Africa was when they gave it to Nelson Mandela and black folk. That was a great nation. Now, notwithstanding apartheid was wrong, we all know it's wrong. I'm against it. There should have been some other resolution, though, than turning it over to Nelson Mandela. Disease, AIDS, and crime is running wild in Johannesburg. They're killing one over another over there. They're dying of sickness. The government is mismanaged. The people who ran the nation are now leaving the nation because black folk don't know how to run no nation. They don't know how, and we need to admit it. I know you don't like it, but you need to stop shucking and jiving. We got a problem. Nigeria produces oil every year, yet the children over there are hungry and pot-bellied and walking barefoot. We got a problem. You talk about the Hutus and the Tutsis. Look what's going on in Zimbabwe now with Mugabe. We got a problem, black folk. And forget about Zimbabwe and South Africa, Nigeria. Look at what y'all have done in Harlem. You can't even hold on to Harlem. 
We got a problem. Black folk don't understand the world. You can get mad with me all you want. You can say what you want, but you can't prove me wrong. Now, I'm not saying this because I hate black folk. I'm saying it because I love you enough to tell the truth. And the only person going to ever help us get out of the situation is going to be God. There's something wrong with the black man's mind. There's something wrong with his mind. He does not understand the world. He doesn't. I don't care if he learned medicine. He doesn't understand the world. He can't even hold on to Harlem. When he was here, he moved out. We got to talk to the Lord. People, we got to talk to God. And black women 